don't know why you keep going on about it. If I keep quiet about you moving in, who's going to find out? But making out I'm living on my own doesn't make me a benefit thief. If I... If I told... But tell him... But... No ifs, no buts. Benefit fraud is a crime. Break the law and you face an interview under caution and even a criminal record. More supernatural thrills in our movie premiere tonight here on ITV1. Constantine continues in 15 minutes after the news now with Steve Scott. No respite. A peace offer is rejected as survivors tell stories of Kenya's appalling tribal killings. The opposition say no deal to power sharing and insist the country's president must quit. Tonight we report from Kenya, a country heading closer to a humanitarian disaster. Also on the programme, Violent Britain. Another day and another teenager is stabbed to death, the third inside a week. Hello Capello. The New England boss gets his first taste of the FA Cup and watches Rooney steal the show on a day of shocks. And very handy, Andy. Murray starts 2008 with a trophy, nets almost £100,000 and boosts his chances of a first grand slam. Good evening. Kenya's opposition party were offered an olive branch today, which could have stopped the killing and the bloodletting, but they rejected it. President Mwai Kibaki said he was ready to form a government of national unity, but opposition leader Rayala Odinga still wants the disputed election rerun. As the political stalemate deepens, the suffering continues. The UN warning tonight of a humanitarian crisis with close to a quarter of a million displaced people with little or no food, just harrowing tales of unimaginable tribal violence. And as our correspondent Neil Connery now reports from Kenya, that violence shows no sign of abating. Details in his report may distress some viewers. On the streets of Nairobi's Mathare slum, police open fire to break up more tribal violence. Rival gangs armed with machetes clash again as Kenya's ethnic fabric continues to unravel. At least one man is shot dead as police try to restore order. In the capital and right across this country, tribal tensions are now boiling over. Terrified and exhausted, the tide of human misery cascades down from the never-ending trucks. They clutch what few belongings they have left. These are some of the 100,000-plus people forced from their homes, fleeing Kenya's tribal violence. We found them as they arrived in Nakuru after their journey from Eldoret, now left homeless and traumatized. This woman relives the horror of what happened. Seven of my neighbours were killed, she tells me, cut to pieces with machetes. There was no mercy. There are dead bodies everywhere, this man says. Some are headless. They're lying in the streets, being eaten by dogs. Only God knows my fate, this mother tells me. What do I do now? And here they come, hundreds and hundreds, they're still coming, packed on these lorries, desperate to get off, desperate to get away from the horror that they've had to endure in Eldoret. They've brought with them what few belongings they have left. But every person who arrives here comes with a story of unimaginable suffering. More than a hundred trucks arrived in the space of a few hours, their cargo of suffering spilling onto the streets. Some families have found shelter in a nearby showground, home for now at least. But they have lost everything as this country continues to rip itself apart. Neil Connery, ITV News, Nakuru, Kenya. A murder investigation is underway after a teenage boy was knifed to death, the third fatal stabbing in just five days. Two others were also injured, one seriously. 
As Isla Traquair reports, this latest murder is further evidence that there's no let-up to the disturbing level of criminal violence in Britain. Five days into 2008, three teenagers stabbed and killed in separate incidents. A violent new year. The latest happened at three o'clock this morning at the base of this tower block in a sprawling council estate in Erith and Kent. Three teenagers had been stabbed. One died, two were taken to hospital. Residents here are not surprised. If something really, really bad happens, you hear about it, but like, this area, there's stabbings, everything's mm. going on. But not everyone agrees that this estate is known for violence. The reputation is unjustified. Um, certainly in the two years that I've been coming here, um, I've seen nothing but good coming from this estate. The debate about the reputation of an area seems irrelevant though when yet another teenager is dead. A few hours into the new year, 16-year-old Bradley Whitfield was stabbed in the neck with a bottle in Leicester. Four people have been charged with his murder. On the same night, 17-year-old Henry Bolombi was stabbed to death in Edmonton in North London. Hours earlier, a policewoman was shot in the leg in Lancashire and a man was shot and killed in Manchester. Campaigners say tougher sentences are needed. It's not until we say enough is enough that we introduce mandatory prison sentences, we get the police out there in their thousands doing targeted and random stop and searches and we also introduce community projects to take some of these youngsters off of the streets into doing something more worthwhile. The Home Office have said they're continuing to tackle the problem of youth violence, having already increased the maximum prison sentence for knife possession and introduced responsive policing and proactive projects. But none of these measures prevented this murder from happening in Erith, or indeed the two New Year's Day stabbings. Isla Traquair, ITV News, Erith in Kent. Some breaking news tonight. It's been revealed that a fishing vessel is in trouble in the Antarctic Ocean. The New Zealand Coast Guard say they are parachuting spare engine parts to the ship, which is thought to have some British crew members on board. No one is thought to be in immediate danger. The Conservatives have demanded additional training posts for junior hospital doctors after it emerged that thousands could soon be left unemployed, with at least three doctors chasing each new job this year. And the government is to introduce the first male-only medical screening programme aimed at reducing the number of deaths from abdominal aortic aneurysm, a condition which bursts one of the body's main blood vessels and which kills 3,000 men each year. Football and on a day when four premiership teams, Everton, Blackburn, Birmingham and Bolton, all got knocked out of the FA Cup by lower league clubs, the New England manager Fabio Capello got his first taste of English football. He watched Manchester United's two will win over Aston Villa in the third round. The first goal was set up by Welshman Ryan Giggs and finished by Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo. But Capello would have been more interested in Wayne Rooney's contribution. The England striker cleverly steered the ball home, moments from the end, final score, 2-0. And, the and, and Andy Murray has started 2008 with that winning feeling. He claimed the Qatar Open tonight, his fourth career title. The British number one beat Stanislav Favrinka of Switzerland in three sets, 6-4, 4-6, 6-2. <laughs> up prize money of £85,000. And that is it uh, for now. I'm back with the news at 11.40 tomorrow morning. Until then, bye-bye. With Shields Wheels you'll find you've got total peace of mind. Where the skies are grey or blue, our car insurance covers you. Hello again, good evening. There's been some rain around in the first part of this evening, but in the far south we're beginning to see that rain clearing up, leaving a mixture of clear spells and broken cloud. But the showers are continuing in the north, possibly you might even see the odd icy patch on untreated roads. And let's take a look at what's going to be happening tomorrow morning. Well, that rain will continue in the far north and in the west, but it'll be a fairly bright start for England and Wales. Lots of broken cloud around, but there may be just some cloud beginning to build up in the far southwest and gradually through the afternoon that cloud is going to feed up and it may even bring the odd showery outbreak for Devon and Cornwall. As for the temperatures, well, it's not going to be feeling too chilly. At worst, it's going to be 4 degrees Celsius up in the far north. Elsewhere, around 6 to 8 degrees. Good night. For the big sale on tiles and wood flooring, trust the specialists. 
Shops Tiles, tiling the nation. I've just got us Tiskelly's best ever broadband offer. We get up to eight meg super fast broadband, a free wireless router, and weekend calls to UK and top international destinations, all for just £6.49 a month. <laughs> Must tell Bob next door. Six forty nine. That's amazing. For super fast broadband from just six forty nine, call Tiskelly now on 0800 107 9000. Frustrated by the January sales? We know how you feel. Right price, wrong product. Right product, wrong price. Back again for three days only, the NEC becomes a great big home and furniture store. You'll find leading manufacturers, specialist retailers and famous name brands at incredibly low prices. Oak dining sets with four leather chairs, just 349 Beautiful leather sofas, this pair, just 399 LG 42-inch HD ready plasma TV is just 529 There's something for everyone. Sale on now until Sunday 4pm. D is for double savings, F is for four years free credit, and the first year payment free. S is for sale. Let's go over that again. D is for double savings, making this smashing sofa just 299. F is for four years free credit and the first year payment free. S is for sale. So with leather sofas at 597 and double savings on a great range, don't miss the winter sale at DFS. Double savings end Sunday 5 p.m. The Floors to Go up to half price sale is now on. Take advantage of amazing offers from the flooring specialist. Like laminate flooring from only $3.99 a square metre. Or beautiful real wood from only $14.99 a square metre. Plus, right now, there's an extra 10% off all flooring with over 200 designs to choose from. The Floors to Go sale is now on. Hurry while stocks last. To make your HD ready TV more than just a normal TV, Sky HD brings you more programs than ever in high definition. Sky. Believe in better. Save now in the SCS double discount sale. Look, this is only 495. Less than half price, now only 499. Real leather, double discounted to only 395. Look, less than half price, just 299. Hurry down to the SCS double discount sale right now. At BMI Baby, we've got some sizzling deals online, but you better hurry as they'll sell like hotcakes. Book now at BMIBaby.com, the airline with tiny fares. <laughs> <laughs> Thames Valley Weather with the BMIBaby.com credit card. Hello, good evening. Well, I'm sorry about the forecast today. There were far more showery outbreaks of rain around than we expected, and they have left the roads wet. They're moving away, and they will see a dry and fairly clear night ahead. But with wet roads and temperatures getting close to freezing, there might well be one or two icy patches around. The temperatures are not dramatically low, as you can see, but even if it gets down to zero or plus one in the air, the roads will be below freezing, so watch out for slippery patches. They'll still be there first thing in the morning. A lovely sunny start, I think, for many of us tomorrow morning. And most of us will stay dry through daylight hours, even though there's another weather front edging towards us from the southwest. So through tomorrow afternoon, expect to see the clouds start to cloud over again from that direction. But I think any rain should hold off until the evening. So mostly dry tomorrow, the best of the sunshine through the morning. And after that chilly, frosty start, temperatures up around six or seven in the afternoon. Not terribly high, but the winds are light tomorrow, so it shouldn't feel too bad. The weather for the next few days, in fact for most of the week ahead, looks very changeable, but for much of the time it's coming towards us from the west or the southwest, and that's a relatively mild direction, so there's no sign of any really wintry weather. There'll be rain or showers at times, sunny spells in between, and like tonight, if the sky is as clear at the right time, there'll be a touch of frost around. Thames Valley Weather with the BMIBaby.com credit card. <laughs> Fresh from the festive break, the winning team are reunited and ready to help you rise and shine.
A new year with familiar faces. Join GMTV weekday mornings. Well, the world's deadliest virus is spreading fast and extreme measures are called for when Kevin Spacey, Morgan Freeman and Dustin Hoffman lead an all-star cast in Outbreak. It's our film at 12.30. After we return to Constantine, tonight's movie premiere.